Hi there, it's Stacy Martino, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about mastering yourself. In a previous video, I was talking about control and how a lot of our students um, come to me and ask me for strategies on how they can stop the, their need, their compulsive need to try to control everything because they see that that's causing a lot of kerfuffle in their relationship. Whether it be your relationship with your partner, your kids, the people you work with, your folks, your friends, whatever it is, the truth of the matter is we can't control anyone else. At best, we can control, really master ourselves. And the truth of the matter is, is that so many people right now are focused on trying to control everyone and everything around them and completely ignoring the only thing that they will ever have any ability to control or master, which is ourselves. And there are three elements to mastering yourself. One is mastering your state, the state that you're in. Um, whether you're in a high state or you're in a shit state and how easily you get knocked out of your good state and get into a crap state as you get triggered through your day, right? Your ability to not get triggered into a crap state or if you drop down, get back up really quickly because your state is what creates your results. Um, when you're in a shit state, everything is hard, everything feels like a struggle, and more crap seems to find you. But when you're in the zone and you're rocking it and you're in a great state, everything seems to flow and things go well, well, it's your ability to stay over what we call that 50% line in your state that impacts a lot of your results. And so mastering your state of staying over the 50% line is part of self-mastery. That's piece number one. Piece number two of self-mastery is understanding and up-leveling your blueprint. We've talked about blueprint in another video. That's something we do a deep dive on with our students is understanding the operating system of how we've wired ourselves and how other people are wired as well. And then part number three of mastering yourself is trusting yourself to make great decisions in any situation. And those are really the three parts of mastering yourself. And when you do master yourself, when you attain a certain level of state mastery, what's very interesting is you no longer have the need to control anyone or anything outside of you because you trust yourself to handle yourself in any situation. Whatever happens, I trust myself. I trust myself to utilize what comes. I trust that it's always for the, my best, and I will um, handle whatever comes my way. I no longer need to control it because I'm confident in trusting myself and how I show up to navigate whatever it is. And so the truth is, if you're stuck in controlling or uh, needing to make sure that things go a certain way, uh, whether it's people or things or situations, the truth is turn it around and focus on mastering yourself. Up-level your ability to master your state, learn how to understand and up-level your blueprint, your wiring of how you operate, and learn how to trust yourself to make great decisions in any situation by improving your decision-making software, the software that's you're running every single day to make your decisions whether you realize it or not. Um, and so when you've mastered those three things, then you'll have a level of self-mastery where you won't need the control. So instead of focusing, as so many people do, on how do I stop controlling, it's very hard to stop controlling when you don't have something to start doing, start mastering yourself. It's something that we work very deeply with our clients on every single day here in our Relationship You program as we teach you how to master you and how you relate to everyone in your world. The Mastering You piece is all about mastering your state, understanding and up-leveling your blueprint, and trusting yourself to make great decisions in every situation. And I invite you to do the same thing. Master you so you can release the control that you feel you need to control others in the world around you because control is always an illusion. So my assignment to you is to start with the first piece, mastering your state. Figure out how to get yourself back over that 50% line if your state drops, how to get yourself back into a great state because that's where it all starts. Post in the comments below what you're going to do to get yourself back into that great state. I promise to respond to all of them. And until I see you again, Sending love to you. Bye-bye.